Hello viewers, this is Dr. Sumit Bakshi. Welcome back to my channel. In this short video, I will tell you an interesting example to understand type 1 and type 2 error. For detailed video on type 1 and type 2 error, just click this i button on the top right. Also, I will give the link in the description box. For now, let's start this video. Hand sanitizer manufacturer, check the effectiveness of new sanitizer before launching it into the market. For that, the researchers make null hypothesis H0 is hand sanitizer do not kill coronavirus. Then alternative hypothesis will be hand sanitizer do kill coronavirus. Now the case one is H0 is true. That means null hypothesis is true. If researcher accept true null hypothesis in that case, researcher has made correct decision. There is no error. But if researcher by mistake reject true null hypothesis, then researcher will accept wrong alternative hypothesis. That means this null hypothesis is true, but researcher reject it and he accepted wrong alternative hypothesis. It simply means in actual scenario, sanitizer do not kill coronavirus, but researcher has come to the conclusion that sanitizer do kill coronavirus. Sanitizer do work. This is type 1 error in which researcher reject true null hypothesis. It can lead to serious concerns if that sanitizer is launched into the market. People may get infected through coronavirus assuming that sanitizer work but in actual sanitizer do not work. Now case 2 is when H0 is not true. That means null hypothesis is not true. If researcher reject this null hypothesis, in that case he will accept correct alternative hypothesis which is hand sanitizer do kill coronavirus. He has made the correct decision there is no error. But if researcher by mistake fail to reject or you can say accept false null hypothesis, that means researcher will come to the conclusion that hand sanitizer do not kill coronavirus, which is actually wrong. Actually, hand sanitizer do kill coronavirus. This is type 2 error. In type 2 error, researcher fail to reject or accept false null hypothesis. Researcher may lead to the conclusion that manufacturing of hand sanitizer should be stopped. It is harmful as we will miss an effective hand sanitizer in the market, but it is not as dangerous as type 1 error. If researcher commit type 1 error, there are chances that a sanitizer will be available in the market which is actually not effective on coronavirus. That's it. Thank you. Hope you find this video helpful. If you like the video, please press like button and subscribe to Dr. Sumit Bakshi. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Thank you.